In this podcast episode, Cal Newport explores the intricacies of serious thinking, the importance of friendships, and the challenges of navigating social interactions, particularly for introverts. He emphasizes the need for sustained attention to complex information, which he defines as serious thinking, and outlines practical steps to cultivate this skill. Newport begins by discussing the alarming trend of superficial engagement with information in today's digital age. He argues that many individuals outsource their ethical and normative thinking to social media, relying on tribal approval rather than developing their own frameworks for understanding the world. This reliance on high-energy, emotionally charged content often leads to a lack of deeper appreciation for complex ideas. Newport contrasts this with the mindset of serious thinkers who possess a nuanced understanding of various topics and appreciate the beauty and quality of information. To help listeners become more serious thinkers, Newport introduces five concrete practices. The first practice is to improve the quality and decrease the quantity of information consumed. He advocates for a multi-scale approach to information consumption, suggesting that individuals should engage with daily news from a single, high-quality source, delve into long-form articles monthly, and read books seasonally. This method encourages a deeper understanding of complex issues, moving away from the frenzied consumption of social media. The second practice Newport discusses is increasing comfort with boredom. He explains that in a world filled with constant stimuli, the ability to tolerate boredom is essential for serious thinking. Newport suggests simple exercises, such as performing daily tasks without the distraction of a phone, to help individuals become more comfortable with their thoughts. He also introduces the phone foyer method, where individuals keep their phones in a designated area of their home, reducing the temptation to reach for them during moments of boredom. Newport's third practice focuses on cultivating the ability to pay attention. He recommends interval training, where individuals gradually increase the time spent on focused tasks. This practice not only enhances concentration, but also helps individuals develop a deeper engagement with their work or leisure activities. Newport emphasizes the importance of creating a conducive environment for focused work, suggesting that individuals establish rituals that signal their brains to enter a state of deep concentration. The fourth practice Newport introduces is strengthening working memory through productive meditation. He encourages listeners to take walks while contemplating complex problems as the act of walking can quiet cognitive noise and enhance focus. This practice allows individuals to hold multiple pieces of information in their minds, fostering the ability to generate new ideas and insights. Finally, Newport discusses the importance of practicing intellectual engagement. He suggests pairing primary and secondary sources when exploring new ideas, as this approach allows individuals to develop a deeper understanding of complex topics. Additionally, he encourages maintaining idea documents, where individuals can summarize their thoughts on various subjects, helping them organize and clarify their understanding over time. Transitioning to the topic of friendships, Newport highlights their critical role in leading a fulfilling life. He notes that genuine friendships require a non-trivial sacrifice of time and attention, emphasizing that mere digital interactions do not constitute real friendships. He suggests that individuals should systematically plan their social interactions, making a conscious effort to strengthen existing friendships and cultivate new ones. In response to a listener's question about how introverts can find friends, Newport refers to a previous episode featuring Jamie Kilmartin, who shared his journey of building friendships in his 40s. Newport underscores the importance of being proactive in seeking out social connections, especially for those who may feel socially anxious or overwhelmed. Newport also addresses the challenges of social anxiety, particularly for introverts. He acknowledges that anxiety can complicate social interactions, making it difficult for individuals to engage comfortably. He recommends exploring acceptance and commitment therapy as a means to manage anxiety emphasizing the importance of separating feelings from actions. By recognizing that anxiety is a natural response, individuals can learn to commit to social situations despite their discomfort. Furthermore, Newport discusses the delicate process of moving on from friendships that may be holding someone back. 
He encourages listeners to evaluate the impact of their relationships on their overall well-being and to make conscious decisions about which friendships to nurture. He emphasizes that it's essential to prioritize relationships that contribute positively to one's life and to be willing to let go of those that do not.